expected to hear from here. What zone do you? Oh, it's in zone 5. That's actually fine then. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to this week's stream. Have I got a double of myself? No, I haven't. There we go. You can't see my screen at the moment, because uh, Train Sim is now loading, and you should now be able to see Train Sim. Hopefully you should be able to see <laughs> that we're now at Lincoln. We are um, driving an East Midlands Railway Class uh, 43 um, HST uh, with Virgin Trains East Coast uh, liveried um, Mark III starting here at Lincoln. Hang on, my mouse has gone really strange. What's happened? There we go. Lincoln to Newark route recently been released for Train Simulator. It's brand new. Um, I thought we'd have a uh, look for it today. Um, I'm sure lots of it can become more clear as uh, the snow progresses. We are due to depart out here uh, at Lincoln at 11.27, uh, so we'll wait uh, until that time. Let's just get, get set up the train, turn the HUD off. Sort out the headlights. And away is our departure time. Meanwhile, let's say hello to everyone in chat. Uh, who's in chat? Hello, um, Fabi Chan. Um, yes, it's nice to see you again. Uh, hello to Clark Cobain 007. Hello and Essex Mainline. Hello, welcome to the stream. Also joining us uh, in voice chat uh, will be uh, Joshua Platt. Good evening. Uh, and uh, the Great Eastern Train fan. Hello. Uh, and we also have uh, Joshua as well. Yeah. Other Josh. East Midlands Railway fan, you there? Yeah. Oh, hello. <coughs> Still got a minute here, we've got nothing, we've got really nothing to do. As you can see, we've got a regional railways class 153 standing in platform 5 here, ready to form a service to Sheffield. This service would now be a Northern Class 195. If you haven't understood the concept of Through the Ages yet, I'm sure that will become very clear as we go along. We've got Class 150 here as well. Through the Ages, we start in the um, pre-prioritisation era and as time progresses, uh, we move uh, slowly into the modern day. So once we end at Peter... Uh, so place your bets uh, as to what era we'll end up at Peterborough in. Also, I haven't done a sound check yet, which is probably a bit silly of me. 1980s. Just checking my sound is working. No, sound is working fine. For now. That's good afternoon, Rufus. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well as well. Right, we're now ready for departure uh, out of um, Lincoln Central. Our next stop being at Newark Northgate. Listening to this incredible VP185 depart, of course, which we do have. I'm just listening to 313 ticking away on it. It's not very claggy, is it? We, oh, we're only in notch 3. It gets really claggy in notch 4. <laughs> it gets even claggier in Notch 5, yeah. We've got Regional Railways Class 153 arriving in. Our starting speed limit out of Lincoln Central is 25 miles an hour, so we'll just watch that for the moment. Funny enough, the Sweeney and Brighton is... Like, this is Lincoln High Street level crossing I filmed here before. It's a um, brilliant level crossing, uh, made famous um, by um, local Lincolnshire uh, spotters and made it a brilliant location to come and film trains at level crossings on. Possibly one of the best, dare I say, one of the best known level co crossings in the country. Uh, it's coming up ahead is Brayford Level Crossing, or Brayford Wharf Level Crossing, its official name. Another level crossing which is good to, uh, to film at, just around the corner of course. I have my doors open, but who cares? <laughs> As you do. Because I'm doing an ECS to New Haven Lane. 
I see. When did New Haven Marine shut? It was only a few few years ago, wasn't Nine it? Years ago. I thought it was quite recently. Can I fill it up to 30 miles an hour now that we've gone under this overbridge? You've got a freight on the left hand side. Place your bets as to what will be at the front. 1980s. Well, this is late 1980s, early 1990s, so hopefully that gives you a clue. And for an extra clue, it won't be a shed. 47s. You're quite close, I think. Oh, I'm close, eh? Oh, that should. Nope. I wonder if this three five, three seven, I'm gonna say three five seven. Got the first three seven in the round freight delivery. Move with its cab door wide open. Nope, it's a thirty seven. Indeed, it's a thirty seven. Here, it's East Holmes Junction where the line towards Gainsborough and Sheffield will diverge is off to the right. We continue towards the left, uh, towards Highcombe, Swindervie and Newark. That was Come very, on, very steep. Have a move. <laughs> that was signal block. Well, what time am I during to move away from doesn't stop, so it doesn't matter. No, that's not East Junction, that was, that was Bolton Junction that we just went over my mistake, I just don't know the route very well. Oh no, maybe this is Bolton Junction. No, the junction we went across last was East Holmes, this is Bolton Junction. How am I going to remember where we are when... I don't, I don't, wait, I, I don't know. How am I going to remember the speed limits? I know we got up to 50 from here, we've got a whistleboard just up ahead. I'm just waiting for this 377 to clear out the way before I can proceed. Let's go to step 4. Yep, there's the whistle board. There's a skew bridge tip level crossing that we're just going over now. Thank you. Don't Yes, how are we how are we all doing today? I'm sure I I've certainly had a very busy week at the theatre this morning. AP with their class 43 has just done an amazing job. We're now going over Bolton level crossing. Hang on, that's not Bolton level crossing. What's this then? I don't know, clearly don't know this route very well. I should say on most level crossings. Maybe that's Skew Bridge tip then. <laughs> no, I just clearly don't know the route very well because. This is Bolton Level Crossing. <laughs> yep, certainly looks like Bolton Level Crossing. You've been to... Oh, you cut out there. You've been to Lincoln, right? I have been to Lincoln only once. I'd quite like to visit there again. There's only one place I would like to visit. In time, uh... Where's that? Did you say you cut out again? I would like to revisit Portsmouth again. Eastleigh, did you say? Portsmouth. Oh, Portsmouth. 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 I said that really well. Portsmouth is quite a nice place to visit. <laughs> sure. I used to go there a lot. Looks so up to 70 miles an hour from this point. Here's my spy train, the other buck off. Dollington level crossing coming up. I think I've only ever been to Portsmouth once, and even then, I didn't even have a look around when we went there. I think we were going to the Isle of Wight. Mm -hmm. 
talking of the Isle of Wight, the Isle of Wight, um, or the Island Line, started um, passenger operation again for the first time in a bit this week. First for it, for yeah, cemented service. Monday, I believe. Yep, haven't been shut since December last year. It's been nearly a year, but it's now open again. Service is still only, only every hour. They will hopefully turn to uh, every half an hour. Mm. And now we're for it for the centre service, so... We're passing Highcombe Station and level crossing. I think it's 001 and... Double That... Oh, so what's that one? Okay, very well it's on the first day of service. There's a four car so... Oh, we've got to do the train supply, which explains our slow acceleration. Here comes a class 60. We're still in the present era. Yep, we're still yep before privatisation. But time has progressed. Well, I'm back. Oh, hello again. I haven't missed much. <laughs> well, not. All right. I'm passing a station that I don't mind. Is there a station? Is there a station? Uh -oh. That's fast, but 50 miles an hour. Don't don't have a window hang on HSTs. It's very silly. Unless you're on a slow line, for example, the Highland Main Line was really fun to window hang on. I did that a few times back, back in the back in the day. Although, yeah, there's oh Scott Rose HSTs of all sliding door now. I think the only slam door Mark Threes in the country are the ones on the GWR Night Riviera. I just saw something coming. Over this level uh, crossing here. PC Wolf's Bank. Fork on the hill. No, no, a cop can rob a gun. <laughs> I don't know what you're watching, but it sounds very strange. There go the barriers. No, someone shared a phone with Gripchow Messenger saying of a police officer being interviewed and the officer name is PC Rob Bank. Ah, I see, PC Rob Bank, I see. It's quite funny, actually. It's quite clever. It's Eagle Fork level crossing coming up now. Still going 70 miles an hour. Funny enough, I'm going 70 miles an hour right now. Oh, so the two lines are probably quite similar then. But can we take the time to appreciate all the detailing that um, Josh Trains have put into this route? It's absolutely incredible. Just like with all, th all the Midland Main Line uh, route in general is absolutely amazing. Just the amount of detail. Gone very quiet. Look at this, just the hay bales. It's just. Okay, maybe they're not the best <laughs> when you go up close to them, but look at that, that's so beautiful. Oh, the PSD's going. That's fork level crossing that we just went over. Should we be passing Swinderby, which is, is the next point that we'll be passing. For Swinderby, we will want to decelerate to 50 miles an hour. That's what I'm doing now, I'm just doing a gentle deceleration. Step 1, we're now going 60, so we should be in time for the platform. In fact, this is Eagle Fork level crossing, so we've got about another mile to go. Oh no, that's Collingham. Not, not Collingham, that's Swinderby that's just there, so... Keep the speed down. Uh, 
such a nice line. Now obviously this line is operated by class 800s, so it's not quite as nice <laughs> as the HSTs back in the day, but you, you, you still get around I guess. Very calming. I'm not sure why the line speed is so low here, but once we get to New York, we'll be going 425 miles an hour, of course. Hello, are we going the East Coast Main Line way to London? Yes, we are going the East Coast Main Line way to Lon uh, London. Because we might have confused you during the East Midlands trains delivery day GST, because there, there is one train a day um, that runs from Lincoln Central down to. Uh, London St Pancras um, running via Nottingham isn't there um, I don't think you can do that in train sim at least because you Yes, you're very, you're very quiet, but I think I just about picked up what you said. Yeah, we're missing Leicester to Bedford, aren't we? So we won't be able to do the full run of that. But we can do, we can do Lincoln, Nottingham, we can do Nottingham to Leicester, and we can do Bedford to St Pancras. But now with the East Coast Main Line, we can do the full way, which is quite nice. Hello, Romeo World of CFL. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're doing well. Whoops, DST. Isn't it Train Simulator 2022? You have a fair point there. Train Simulator 2022 has been out for a couple of months now and I haven't been bothered to change it. Next week's stream I will change it to Train Simulator 2021. Have you heard about the new AP Class 800 in the works? Yes, this is big news for us. Big, big news. Um, Armstrong Powerhouse released a teaser that they uh, are working on um, an AP Class 800 for Train Simulator, which should be released uh, probably in the next month or so because um, from usually when they make their first announcements it's usually a month before they release it so we're maybe looking for a Christmas release of an AP Class 800 pack which I'm sure will be much welcomed So level crossings now, we should be passing Collingham soon Yep, Collingham's just coming up now So our last stop on the line before we join East Coast Main Line, so Lincoln is quite close to East Coast Main Line, isn't it? left curve here. Just look at the flowers, the detail, the detail. It's just amazing, isn't it? Hello Tom Brown, welcome to the stream. I haven't heard from you in a while, it's nice to see you back. Yeah, I'm not too bad, how about you? How is Sunny Fife? Oh, I realise how silly that sounds. How is freezing cold Fife? that I don't live in Scotland because of winters. They'd be quite funny, weren't they? What's this level crossing here? Does it not have a name? It doesn't have a name, brilliant. I assume that's Langford. No, that'll be Cottage Lane level crossing. I got a um, Class 43 and NT City Swallow livery, one of my favourite HST liveries. Of course it's a Valenta, because it's that era. Oh, 
Oh, DSD, nearly missed that. What's the level crossings? Maybe this is why the line speed is so low. It's a safety measure for all these level crossings. It's nice in Fife today, I'm sure it is. There's Langford level crossing. From this point, we're about three miles to the East Coast Main Line. And here uh, at Newark, we will need to do a scenario change because I'm afraid that there is no uh, merge. Uh, from the middle of main line onto the um, east coast, the creative rail east coast main line from York to Peterborough. So we will need to change scenarios, and this will take a bit of time. So better, do bear with us. We will shortly um, need to decelerate for a 30 mile an hour speed restriction coming over the Newark flat crossing. I'm back. Oh, hello again. Just approaching Newark now. Uh. I think I can just about see these coast main line in distance. How far actually are we? 2.43 miles. So we're about a mile to the east coast main line. And then shortly after that will be Newark station itself. Well, I think oh yeah, I need to slow down now. Do like the VP one eight fives. Believe that the only um, class forty threes with the VP one eight fives remaining um, are the um, Staycation Express HST, the Middle and Pullman HST. Yeah, Goes to show much. how little of them there are. That's Winthorpe level crossing. We've just gone over. From here, then we will the, want to decelerate. Um, the Newark. Oh, the crow ones. Because that's like X uh, EMR power cars, aren't they? Well, they're X EMR, X LNR, so they're all MTU. So 43272, two, not 272. 43274. Um, still in the EMR livery. Um, or two, or yes, 274 is still in the EMR livery, and that's the VP18. That's the M MTU. Mm. And the other one that came from East Wings Railway is also an MTU. Although that one crowd does have some VP one eight fives one and the that's train. Well, I think I we mean, decelerate a bit faster. I don't know why there's a ten miles in that Lewis. That makes no sense. It's just around the corner. Oh yeah, Lewis's ten mile an hour speed restriction is silly, it's really silly. Right, we do have a signal coming up. Not sure why we have a red signal here. Cause it seems a bit silly because we're. I mean, it is a protected junction, but I haven't set anything to pass us. Oh, we do have a path actually, so that's all right. Well, right, next up, New Haven Harbour. The AWS going off there as well, telling us that we've got the junction crossing over. Mm -hmm. How late are we? Quite, uh, we're, we're actually running early. Got 34 mile an hour speed restriction, which is a bit funny. Maybe some part of the, something, <laughs> something the route's a bit wrong because we had that red signal with the feather and then. But anyway, just um, if we, if I draw your attention to here, this is Newark Flat Crossing. This is the only location in the uh, UK, except a Heritage Railway in Wales, where two main lines cross over each other on the flat without bridge or a, a dive under or anything like that. It's the only place in the UK. One of these coast main line upgrade, they are looking to remove that, which is a bit of a shame. Apologies about the lag on this bit. There. At least it's been there for the majority of its use. You can't say that it's been a waste of money. I 
I can do a good fishing. Um, a I T pack. Yes, hopefully it does. It. Hopefully it does come out soon. I think that's what they're making next, isn't it? Because that's what they're giving a sneak peek of, and I think that's the I T pack, isn't it? Yes, hopefully oh. AP get it out for Christmas because I'll make more sales there. Hello, Aaron, you're back. Yeah. So I'm coming to go in I've got football on the TV and I'm back to have football on the computer. No, oh, that's fine, don't worry. <laughs> so FA Cup weekend this weekend. So there's three games on TV today. I've watched... This is the second out of three I've watched. And I'm down playing in a minute, so I'm going to take that on. Mm. I'll be, I'll just be watching the documentary one. What documentary? On the West Ham match. Uh. Oh, oh, the commentary, yeah. Yeah. I'll be watching it on this girl. Definitely not late. Why have I got a red signal? There's nothing even fun, though, is it? No, no. And here we are at Newark Northgate. That makes oh, sense. That down. Now we're on East Coast Main Line. I'm just trying to figure out why I've got a red signal. This is the first part of three, isn't it, Charlie? Oh, it's, this is the first part of three? I think it is, isn't it? The, the Lincoln to Newark. Nah. Yes, we'll be doing parts one and two today. Uh, and then Peterborough to London will be driving next week. We're about a minute early here, which is quite impressive. And I don't think we speeded at all on that, which is also quite impressive. We did well on that. But then again, this is just the first scenario. There's another scenario yet to go today. There's a lot that can go wrong, including a poss uh, potential parving issue at Peterborough. DSD is going off. Let's set the train to neutral to stop that happening. I don't think I'm running out. What's the next signal after this? Mm -hmm. There we are, that is the first scenario complete. Now it'll be about three, three odd minutes time uh, while we load the second scenario. Come on, train some words. Always do this. It just takes so long after it loads the scenario, probably to delete all the AI that I've loaded in and then haven't sent to portals. Mm. Now we're speeding three times, but that's not too bad. Let's go into, let's go into build. Scenario Then what route is it? Why? No, it. Or is it, am I not connected or anything? Hmm. Yeah, you are connected, Aaron. Oh well connected was that okay. I was very quiet and I was I was reaching my Wi Fi because <laughs> everyone was cutting out. And like and I came back on and I was just like, What's going on? <laughs> no, I'll, change, I'll change a few things in Discord because I think um, I've set the audio a bit rate a bit too high in the voice channel because that's killing people's internet connections. Hang on a minute. Okay. Oh, fun! We've got the green signal. Hallelujah. Oh, they got the one minute silence at the West Ham ground. Oh, yes. Yeah, so is it? I assume it's Remembrance Sunday today, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's next week. Yeah, because it's, mem yeah, it's Remembrance Day next Thursday. I'm looking forward to that as well, because they're doing like a march down the down the concourse of Liverpool Street. Oh, are they? <laughs> at Liverpool Street, that's mm. interesting. Yeah, cause we have, yeah, we have the we have the culture as the troops come down. Yeah, it's next week. Bring you on, man. There you go. Try to return the score. Now, through Screamer. 
might go down to see all the Remembrance Day stuff because there's usually something interesting, there's usually something at the Cenotaph as well, isn't there? That's a big formal event though, isn't it? Mm. Apparently you need to make a reservation on Great Ant oh, bike on Stadler's Let's take a bike on Stadler's That's fair enough, because or quite a lot of intercity train company or intercity services you need to reserve a bike space on. Uh, yeah, did you know now? I didn't run this. If it's happened, been happening for last few months, the Norwich services now don't stop at um, Stratford. Oh yes, they do. They haven't done it for a few months. I didn't realise a couple of weeks ago. Well, today, because someone asked me a couple of weeks ago. Right, I'm going to Norwich. But my mate's going on at Stratford, and the Norwich services don't stop at Stratford. So I'm confused. So it's hard to like, search into it and everything. I know they're once an hour, and they stop at. No market. Or is it some trains stop at Stratford and some trains don't? Yeah. Okay. It, I still hung up my head around it, really. I'm pretty sure that the noise services do stop at Stratford. They don't. They don't. Well, today. Yeah, they do on weekends. They don't on weekdays. Yeah, look. Well, it's something like they they don't stop at Stratford northbound, but they do southbound or something silly like that. Yeah, they do. They do south. They, they do southbound. Drop passengers. Fight, drop passengers off only. Right. Here we are on very nice Creative Royal York to Peterborough route, which I've just installed the AP truck patch for one, I'm very happy. Uh, what else did I want to do? I want to get rid of this thing. This thing is taking yeah, five minutes. Right. Does that take the up fast? No, it takes the down fast. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, they do stop at Stratford. Um, on the way there, on the way down, they do. On the way there, they don't. On the way to Norwich, they don't. On the way back, they do. On the way to Norwich, there's two services every hour. There's the o'clock the and the half past. The half past stops at Stone Market. The, the, uh, the o'clock doesn't stop at Stone Market. It's, either, it's, either that, it's either that or the way round. I know, it's, it's, I know it's Stone Market's once an hour service to Liverpool Street, I know that. On Messenger, I'll just see one now. Have a look then. Here we are, we're back at Newark, driving the AP43 again. That's that's peak time. And when was that, Josh? That today? No, this is on the weekdays. I'm looking at. What day was that? A Monday. Monday. I don't know, mate. It's really confusing. I find it really confusing. When I'm working here on Friday and Friday, no services stop the strap from Liverpool Street. Go towards Norwich. People are always asking me. The noise have stopped at Stratford, and I look down. I look down on all some trains, and none of them do. But don't know. When the oh, next train I'm passes us, you'll see what area we're in. Was he trying to get the service? Mate, I've got no idea. It was a few weeks ago. I've no idea. I dealt with loads of passengers a day, Josh. I don't remember one single person. Mm. It's not really relevant to very many people. No, I know. There aren't very many people that want to get specifically a Stadler between Liverpool Street. I mean, that's exactly I've just described myself there. Uh, that want to get a Stadler between Liverpool Street and Stratford. Yeah. Well, um, apparently twelve trains during the day and weekdays stop at Stratford. Only 12, like DLR, the Jubilee Line, Greater Anglia, only 12, 12 trains a day, wow. The rest of them pass. Got this. Here we go, got class 91. The wet down corner. I think that's what. Yeah? Guy asked. Alright. Uh, that's such a nice livery, isn't it? The GNER livery. 
Anyway, we're now ready uh, to depart for Grantham. Our starting right. speed limit from here yes! at Newark. Yes! <laughs> well, one nil! Where are they? What's that one nil up? Get in! The keeper's had an absolute stinker there. He's gone in from the corner. He's gone in from the corner and over the goalkeeper gone in. Sorry if anyone in chat has to witness. Yeah, sorry, that, that's. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I need to slow down because there's 35 miles an hour in it. Alright, should be fine now. Starting out of Newark now, starting speed 30 miles an hour, and then we go straight up to 125 miles an hour. That is a service that starts at Newark. There's occasionally when there's engineering work or at some other times, there are services no. that start at Newark and head towards London. Oh. No. HST's where we're based and whatnot. I swear they used to start at Newark. Well, I'm back. Some of them did. Um, they were usually only on weekends. Um, and on days of engineering work. They, occasionally, some some trains do still start at Newark and they're 800s. Sorry, break everyone's eardrums there. <laughs> no, no, sir. Mm, it's kind of I think it's not a goal. Here we go, 125 miles an hour. The chat has gone incredibly quiet. Holy oh, man. Yeah, it's very good, it's very quiet today, the chat. It's usually like... Three minutes. It's quite quiet today. Been given. Not a goal. Oh, so it's an go best but Yeah. The goalkeeper's own goal. Oh, uh, he basically he basically punted his own net. He went to punt the other clear and he rolled down his arm. That's fair. Mm. Let's go. I'll take it though. One nil. Up until about half an hour ago, I didn't have the track patch for this route. Now I do, it looks so much better. This is my first time driving the route with the AP track patch on. It is so nice. It feels new. It feels like a new route compared to the old Kuju track that Creative Rail put on the route. Apart from that, the scenery that is absolutely fair. incredible. It's almost on par with the middle of the main line route. When I go back and edit the video, if I um, did some clever editing you probably wouldn't be able to notice that we changed routes got about 10 miles or so until we uh, get to Grantham station which will be our right, I'll be back. Uh, next stop So by the side of the route, haven't we? Should be passing Claypole Loop very soon. It's the famous signal box. No. But you were. Let's see if we can see Claypole as we go past. It's it's a it's a very obvious signal box. I think those are the passing loops just up there, but I'm not too sure. There's a level crossing up there. It's 90 miles an hour. Oh, we haven't got the train supply on, which is why we're accelerating so slowly. Let's turn that on. There we go, train supplies on. And also, the, um, in the carriages they would have no light and no heating. Which would be quite funny, but now we're going well again. One here. But it was a mad goal. Yeah, it was, it was unlucky really. Oh, nice. that and it was an own call. Hey, we've got to allow it. We've got to allow it, apparently. Well, they, they, they did allow it. They did, they did a VAR chip, they allowed it. They didn't. Oh. They haven't judged it. They were taking for handball. Oh, no, Aaron Pressure might get sent off now. They're taking for a possible red card eight minutes in. 
I don't get sent off, I'm going to be fuming with them. There's yeah, Clay Pole signal box, just there, tiny building. It used to yeah, control much oh, of the East Coast Main Line. So it wasn't allowed, basically. Yeah, hang on. Is he not giving it? You. Basically, Aaron, Aaron Cresswell, his mum used to know my dad, so I see Aaron Cresswell quite a lot. I'm not more a stand fan, obviously, but so I, I do talk to him quite a lot. If you got stuff, then I'd be fuming at him. Yeah, it was an own goal, yeah. Very unfortunate, Minute wait at New Haven Marine. Um, oh, how far is Grant from, from Newark, says uh, Tom Brown? Um, I think it's about 13 miles. From Claypole, it's exactly 10 miles. <coughs> so if that puts into perspective, now going 120 <coughs> miles an hour. Central service gives you an idea of our era now. We're in the early 2000s. And Grand Central st mm, sk still have their Valentia HSTs. That's an A Sunderland service that just went past. I want to decelerate very soon for 115 miles an hour. Notice my waypoints there of the hut followed by the level crossing. There's some more of boards, so we should see the speedball coming into effect. Just up ahead. Mm -hmm. There's the 115 mile an hour limit. So I know the East Coast Main Line considerably better than the um um, uh, Lincoln extension because I literally learned the Newark extension last um, well, I learned it yesterday evening um, which hopefully puts into perspective I, I can I can do the I can do the Holy Coast main line from heart now I have been able to for about a year or so now I did it in lockdown um, after I did my, I was after I did my um, this is a piece of crossovers after I did um, my LNR Azuma uh, a hugely successful video on that one. I'm still amazed by how much attention it got that video. Um, I've I decided to learn the East Coast, whole East Coast Main Line by heart, and it's probably it's it's quite an easy route to learn because most of it's just 125 mile an hour stretches, so it's not too difficult. It's considerably easier than doing like a commuter route or something like that. This is Peacecliff Tunnel that we're going through now. Mm. Here we're really not far to Grantham, so once we exit the tunnel here, I will prepare uh, to decelerate for uh, Grantham. Mm. I've really got that video out tomorrow to edit a video. Mm -hmm. Yes. A point spray is being reported on the East Coast Mine. Oh, of course it is. Between Grantham and Peterborough. Between Grantham and Peterborough, that's exactly where we'll be driving. I've got an idea. What is your idea? I might, put, I might put up my video from me doing all the south, north, east, and west stations. Ooh. I can edit that, I can edit that on my phone. I've got cap cut on my phone. Oh, that'll be really I interesting. Can edit that. And I'll put my new intro at the start as well. <laughs> Grantham. Miles. Points failure between Grantham and Peterborough. I'm not sure where where that would be. Ah, DSD, shut up. There we go. 
route. Here's Grant from North Junction. We want to aim to be about 70 miles an hour from here, so we are a bit fast, but we're now good. And we should be ready to decelerate into Grantham, which is just around the corner. Because Grantham has a sharp curve when you come down the corner, if I'm not mistaken. Sort of from the northbound side, it does. From the southbound side, it has it's not so much a sharp curve, but. Going towards London. I think it's a hundred mile an hour around that bit. So maybe mm. there is quite a steep curve. I can't, I can't sharp curve even. I can't. There's a platform. Um, I can't remember. I don't, I don't remember the curve being too sharp. Mm. Forty-four minutes. Just to let everyone know, from twenty twenty-two. The Northern Line will have Parkland and Moorgate. Yes, Northern Line completely closed between Moorgate and Kennington. Um, starting from 2022, that's where they com uh, they're building a completely new tunnel uh, for the Northern Line, a completely new tunnel wall uh, around Bank. Because um, of um, some of you uh, may know that they're building a new platform uh, and tunnel wall at Bank, so to install that safely. Um, what they're, trying, what they're doing is they're closing uh, the Northern Line in both directions um, through Bank, so between Moorgate and Kennington. And replacement bus services will operate. Yeah. Here we are at Grantham. We've arrived about a minute later actually, so... Be a bit careful. What does frame rate, frame rate mean? Frame rate is the amount of frames you have per second. So, so I know I missed 25, is that good? 25... 25 is a bit low, you can tell, you can, or if, if it's anything below 15 you can tell it's stuttering. Anything above 30 is acceptable because then it actually looks like a video. Because when you look at a YouTube video, that will generally be between, it will be 30 or 60 frames per second. Uh, okay, because on here at the moment it says frame rate. I can quick. I can do between 24, 25, 30, 50, or 60. If you if you export it at 50 frames a second, then if you've got if you've got things like departure boards, um, then they'll show up correctly. Oh, okay. Because you've had them. Good, then, yeah. The way it works is the I'll main do, supply: 50, 50 hertz, etc. 50 Start hertz is the same as 50 oh, frames a second. I'm just watching for it now. I'm definitely going to do this. But bear in mind, if you do export it at 60 frames a second, it will take twice as long to um, upload, but it will look noticeably smoother. Ooh, okay, that's good. Excellent. What's I'm that? I see what you mean now, yeah, because the, 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 the information things on the district line literally are like the most clearest thing ever. Mm. This is the southeast and diver on the 20th. 20th. Okay. Yes, South Eastern were diverting this today via Red Hill uh, on yeah. the Hastings services. So, I don't know, next week, um, next week, when is next week? When is, or when is next week? Very good question. Um, uh, so it's two Saturdays time. I assume they'll be doing it next week as well. Thirty or so miles until we get to Peterborough, which is our next stop. Aaron. Yeah. To the uh, apparently, apparently we're winning one nil. We are, yeah. Oh. You know, you know this. I thought it got. I thought it didn't get allowed. No, it kept. They got stayed. It, it kept. It got. Um, kept on. I can't remember Canada's own goal. No, it was an own goal. Yeah, own goals count as goals. The goal's goal. But they were checking VAR, they were checking VAR for a foul or a handball. And there was no foul or handball, so they give it. Mm -hmm. They're playing great at the moment. They'll fall over us. Oh, that'll be a, that'll, that's a, that'll be a tough one. Well, it's a little Can't cool. just ask me on Messenger for 
My prediction is 2 0 to West Ham. No, it's not going to happen. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying my prediction. I don't, I don't want to say a prediction. Literally, just someone just messaged me on Messenger saying my prediction and it's 2 0. <laughs> No, I'm, I don't. I'm, I don't want to say a prediction. I don't, I don't think we'll do great. But I don't want to say what the prediction is. I, re I reckon two one Liverpool. Hmm. I'm yeah, fearing. Well, I'm fearing it towards that way. Yeah, like, that they might bring it back. We're playing our strongest team and not playing great, which isn't great. Hello, William Andres. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Having a nice afternoon. Oh, it's dark outside, isn't it? Wow. Well, that was a bit of a shock. Yeah, that's a bit dark. Cool. That's really strange. That's High Dyke just gone past Stoke Junction. Uh, should just be coming up, followed by um, Stoke Tunnel. Which I think is one of the far. only tunnels um, on this part of the East Coast Main Line. Shouldn't be far from Pier Bar, I'd imagine. We're still another 25 miles away. Grantham and Peterborough are quite a way apart. Grantham and Newark are very close together. Oh, this is. Well, I need to put a speech in for this one. I, I did it. I went past. Um, oh god! You might realize someone was coming off injured. Oh crap! Uh, Apologies for that. What happened there? Um. Yeah. Old Boris just cut his eye open. Oh. Ouch. They both went. They both went. Oh yeah, you got, you got an elbow to the face. Ooh. You got an elbow to the face. But they're like putting like an ice pack with. Like they're putting an ice pack with. You can hardly walk. They're, they're putting they put an ice pack with like cloth on it, and put it to his face, and it's taken off. It's red. Ooh. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. Hopefully he's alright. Mm. Yeah, not I'm not too bad, William. We're not making the subbers yet. I'm sure they will if it gets worse. Yeah, I think we'll make a sub. Mm. I want Dawson on if we can make a sub. Can't have someone playing that can hardly walk. No, he's walking, actually, he's walking fine now. Maybe it's just you to shock a bit, man. I reckon there will be a substitution. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to make a sub. He's going down, he's going down to the medical room for treatment. Oh, dear, no. Well, it's National Express delivery, so we're 2007-2008 now, so I'm quite away. Shame there's no freeze and freeze inside. I know, there are no freeze and freeze. There's not very good. It's not a very good or cheap um, 373 uh, model for train sim, which is a bit of a shame. And it also doesn't feature the GNER delivery. I'm sure there's a reskin for it somewhere out there. I'm pretty sure they did run in the US though. On the East Coast Main Line, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, you're right, there was one set. Um, that's the set that's now in. Or. Oh, it's, not, it's not the one at the National Railway Museum. There's one at some museum in France. That um, was on the Eurostar livery that ran on the East Coast Main Line. What's this? Talking about the 373s that operated on the East Coast Main Line with GNER. Oh, okay. Because they used to run up to Edinburgh, I think. Mm. They mainly did oh, lead services. No, like that. They couldn't go north of Newcastle because they drew too much I power from the wires. Oh, so only Leeds. So Newcastle, Leeds, places like that. Hello, Elnia, I'm trying to find my scripts. Hope you're well. We've just um, gone past Stoke Tunnel. Hopefully that answers where you asked um, Elnia, I'm trying to So we're, we've just left Grantham. Hope you're doing well um, this afternoon as well, Elnia, I'm trying to find. East Coast Line. East Midlands Railway HST, indeed. We've got tail, we've actually remembered the tail lights this time. I've just had to cancel one of my trips that I'm annoyed about. I meant to go into Vienna to go watch West Ham play. Oh. I've had to cancel it. Vienna's a lovely place. I've been there before, yeah. I've, 
I think I went there. Whoa. It's all been about four or five years ago now. I, really I wasn't going to go there to watch West Ham play Rapid Vienna. Um, I've looked at tickets and stuff, and it's about like it's, it's seventy-five quid for a return. That's not bad. That is not bad. Plane, plane ticket, but then it's being out there on my own, with a mate. And then if the fans come try and find all the West Ham fans after the game and stuff, then just, it's just like safety and stuff. Mum and dad, are bo mum and dad, are bothered about. Yes, I'm not too bad any old train fan. It's been a busy week. It's nice to have the stream back again. Right, we're about 17 miles away from Peterborough now. Oh, what, Chapel? Well, when I, do, when I was doing my uh, North East South West video, mm -hmm. um, my first time seeing the new Whitechapel station. Oh, I see. So I've, I've, got, I've, got that in, I've got that in the video. Oh, this is the first. This is the first run. I've got to put a disclaimer at the start of the video as well. I swore quite a lot in it. Uh, all get east. <laughs> and it, said, it said, you know, like on you no know, on the first on the tube app. Mm -hmm. It said it said that there's things at the back and at the front exits to go across the Whitechapel Gallery. So I was at the, I was at the back of the train, where you could jump out and run up the Whitechapel Gallery exit, to run down up and down, but it was blocked off. So I had to run down the whole all get east station. Up and over and down again. Oh, the nightmare! I only just made the train as well. I was fuming. Ah, oh. it's, it's, it's just it's just things like that that just that just make things so like that so memorable. That when you look back on that, yeah. thinking how funny was that? <laughs> Talk about funny. I'm, I've just looked up to the uh, the game on the TV, and the referee just bought a beach ball off the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as well. Hello Tony totally Throwaway Adventures, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. This might have pulled my knee problem back today. Or a little bit. I've been told by my physio that I've got a high chance of having reconstruction surgery on my knee. That doesn't sound pretty nice. No, it's not. Basically, they're going to have to give me a whole new knee. That's what it means. Well, it seems a bit excessive, cap. doesn't it? Yeah, but at the same time, it, what what my physio said to me was it's obviously something to do with ligament stuff underneath, which they can't, which you can't fix. So they're going to need to... Well, oh, I've got an x-ray, but he said an x-ray will do absolutely nothing for you. They've got to do it in like stages or something. So, I'll have an x-ray first, and then I'll probably have to have a CT scan or an MRI scan. And then I'll probably have to reconstruct surgery, but I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, and it's take that work on me, so... I think I'll try and find a way to make me sleep. It's just worrying, isn't it, stuff like this? Great for level crossing from here, we are now 10 miles to Peterborough. So we're now considerably closer to Peterborough than we are to Grantham. 125 miles an hour is quite fast, it's 125 miles per hour. So we could cover that 30 miles between Grantham and Peterborough if that's if we were going, assuming we were going 125 miles an hour point to point um, we could do it in under 15 minutes although that's not going to happen because you've always got to accelerate and the HST's not very good at accelerating how is that? that was actually quite funny I was just walking past down on the station as soon as I heard the train I just started sprinting <laughs> <laughs> You could know, you could see on the video where I realised that there was a train coming because it's me walking and fine, just chilled out and stuff, and then it just then it just goes quickly to me just sprinting. 
Oh, that is quite funny. That's telling him we've just gone over. Destination on either, the other time. I remember. Had a destination on the tube line. Hmm. Did you did you do this in the time when the Hammersmith and City line was going to Buckminster? Might have been a couple of weeks after. Oh yeah, that oh yeah, that was that was that was the time that I was really ill and then I couldn't come. Right at the end of August, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah. I'm going to say the southeast and mainland diverts after the, the extinct train on the Okay. Yeah, sorry, we need we need to do another challenge at some point. We do need to do another challenge. Mm. We really do. I go for it. Well, hopefully we'll be doing the your line the 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 fifteen nines one at some um at some point. We need to do it in Christmas time, like 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 when Cooler Station did it. <laughs> Wait until the um, what's the word? Northern line. Uh, no, no, no. That, that's ages. We need to do. What? Do one of the routes go down the northern line then? I don't know. January though. It it, it shuts in January. If we do it in Christmas time, we'll be fine. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. And no, for the water, the water is done. The Waterloo and City Line opened in a couple of weeks' time anyway. Right, that was full weekday service on Waterloo City Line. It starts end of November, doesn't it? No, what I'm saying is, the Northern Line have a thing of doing engineering works on weekends. You won't do it on the weekend because then the Waterloo and City Line won't be open. Mm. No, the times that I've been to London most of the it's time. Not it's probably emerging engineering works. It's probably not like planned engineering works because I don't do engineering works during weekend on the Northern Line because it's one of the they need to keep that line open. Oh, I've always Northern Line's always shut. Is it? I know Goose Street is shut. Well, if we're if we do the line, if we do the change anyway, we need to do it on a weekday. Yeah, because the Waterloo City Line will be shut on weekend. Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, that was, that was good because you did it right in the rush hour of a weekday, so that was absolutely perfect. Mm. We actually got a pretty good yeah, time so we need, on that. We need to do it in school holidays, preferably, for the weekday. December time. So I can do, remember I can't do weekends because I'm, I'm working with the squad. Neither can I, I can really. Weekdays. Oh, someone's, oh, someone's just set another flare up and chucked onto the pitch. Ugh. Was there a substitution? Um, player. Uh, I'm not sure actually. Do you wonder how many people? Yeah, Craig Dawson's come on, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that one of our players? Yeah. I've wanted, I've wanted gone to get treatment, so I'll probably, find, they'll probably put a report up what's happened to him at half time. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, I'm on my own in like, I, I actually prefer being on my own in chat, like doing. For instance, like, those kind of line changes I'm going to be doing. I prefer me being on my own for that because I know my own speed. Whereas I've got someone else with me, we haven't really got like the same. Like, thing is, like, me and you, Charlie, we've got sort of the same speed. But say, for instance, I was with, I was with Freddy, he's got a completely different speed to me. Maybe I'd have to try and adapt to that speed enough, it might slow me down. Yeah. Fine. But I can use, I've, I've got my bank card now, so I can you know, contact this, so I can use it on the Everest airline. Yeah, oh, that's good. Here's New England North Junction. Let me just warn you, the queue ain't that promising. No, it's fine. No, on, on Emirates Airline, you don't... Hang on, if you contact us Emirates Airline, can you just go to the, the gates and tap? I assume so. Take voice to you can take contact unless you just tap through the gate. Tap through the gate, yeah. Uh, oh, Shrewsbury are beating his strap for Town 5-1. When I was on... No idea. Cable car one that last. I had to queue up. Yeah, because you don't have tickets. Last time I was on cable car, it was either with Caitlin or it was with you and Billy, where Billy was screaming <laughs> his heart out. Oh god, yeah. Remember that? Oh, that was really funny. Okay, I don't care. That, that, that was when we were doing our... Wait, what, what, what challenge was that? That was also All Lines Challenge. Oh, was it? Yeah, because he, he got on a Hoxton or... Didn't he? Yeah, and he was really annoyed that he—he he was really annoyed that he'd woken him up at eleven o'clock in the morning. I seem to remember. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's wrong with getting up at eleven o'clock in the morning? 
I was up at like half six that day. <laughs> oh, number three on three. Off to C4. We'll be on the bus at half six tomorrow. Right. I knew we'd have a red signal. I don't have to get up early tomorrow. So. You back in school again tomorrow, Josh? My dad's keeping me off. Oh yeah. Until Wednesday. So when are your mocks in? Are you already in your mocks? Uh, yeah, I think so. But if you're already doing your mocks, are you doing exams at the moment? Uh, I'm not sure about this week. I'll take the, oh. however many exams you've missed, you've got to make them up. Just waiting outside for the 156 to depart. Uh, what? Maybe late. That's me. If you missed a few, um, it doesn't matter. Oh, then it's, it's, it won't be your mocks then. I was gonna say then, your mock. If the school, if your school was doing that for your mocks, then there's something wrong with them. <laughs> you need to. If they're mocks and GCSEs and stuff, if you don't, if you miss them, it's not. It doesn't matter. If you're not doing GCSEs, that's why you won't pass. I'll be just be getting. These signal priorities are ridiculous. Oh, they, I they mean, can't be a mox, Josh. Can't be. I mean, look, we are, we are a we are a high speed train service, and we're having to wait for a one five six to leave on to cross <laughs> over onto the fast trains. <laughs> oh my god! And it's not leaving for another minute and a half. Or maybe it is departing. Oh, it's departing now. Okay, what's going on? You're not going to clear for like ages, are you? Now, but now what they have done is they've put the Warrington dive unders in through Peterborough, so now the Spalding trains don't have to use the fast lines to cross over. East Midlands railway era. Yes, or East Midlands trains era now. So we're still around 2010-ish. And the Warrington dive under is being constructed about here. There's a nice path that goes down the middle of here, dives under all the way all the way around past New England all the way through to um towards um Spalding um Lincoln via Sleaford uh, and Doncaster eventually this one is going to Doncaster yeah now there was a paid but Doncaster so I mean, so it's a pretty silly service for some reason right we're clear now um it runs via Sleaford and Lincoln so it goes a really silly way I think they're what well, everyone wants if it's your own, as I say. I might not watch my video through now. Oh, I thought of a new way now, because with VSDC only puts it to 480p. I might start editing it on my phone and then using 180p, 180p, and then doing the, the frame per second thing. What, VSDC no, only does 480p? Only does 480p. The SDC is a good video, so I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't know it only did it for 480p. So I'm, I mean, I might start editing on my phone as well for the Wakering games. Well, the Wakering games literally is it will take absolutely ages to edit. So they take on VSDC, my my Wakering videos take I think it's about five hours just to export it. Wow, I mean it's quite an old software, isn't it? But on it your is, phone, yeah. it might be quicker. A minute and a half late, well that's not too bad. That's no one running to. Oh, North Greenwich. Might be. Yeah, North Greenwich. And here we are at Peterborough where we'll finish uh, for today. Next week's stream. Uh, we'll be driving from here uh, where we left off at Peterborough uh, to uh, London St Pancras. London St Pancras? I mean London King's Cross of course. In the same train, it's different St. Pancras, that'd be interesting. Oh, how do you do that? You need to go via Melton Mowbray, wouldn't you? I 
Anyway, here we are. We're now half late, not too bad, but well, we're saying well, we're two minutes late now for some reason, but oh, DSD's going off again, and it's put the train's put itself into emergency, I think. Let's sort that out. No, where are you off to, sir? Yeah. So, yes, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content. New video out tomorrow will be from Liverpool Central Station uh, on the Merseyrail Wirral, Wirral line and Northern line. Um, then after that I'm not sure but um, there should be a video out this Thursday as well. So uh, until then I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. We only sped twice along that so that's quite Amen. impressive. Yes. Bye everyone.